Hey friends and welcome back to another plan with me. This is my weekly series where I show you guys how I plan out my week step by step. In this video, I'm super excited to show you guys the new platform that I have been using to literally organize my entire life. So stay tuned so that I can introduce you to what I like to call my mental garden. Alrighty family, so this is my notion space where I organize my life, my business, my mind, and I call it my mental garden. I am so excited for this space because I have curated it specifically for everything that I need. You guys know that I've been using a couple of different systems before, a mixture of smart tasks, reminders, and I just wanted a dedicated place where I can put everything where it needs to be. So Notion is the space that allows me to do that. And so today I want to walk you through how my Notion is set up as I kind of prepare and plan for my week. And of course, if you love this template and just want something that you can easily implement, I do have this Notion template available for purchase along with a tutorial for how to use it step by step even if you're a first time Notion user. So let's go ahead and get into how I plan for my week using my mental garden. So this is the home page when you come in it's just a beautiful and serene setting I absolutely love it. The first thing that I'll do is I'll just check my habits for the day. Right now we're on the 21 days of discipline challenge so I have everything automatically set up to produce a little card here that has all of my habits so so far we've prayed twice it's about 11 o'clock when i'm doing this and we have read our bible i plan to do my workout a little bit later and i already have my meals prepped for the weekend so i don't have to worry about you know not having what i need to eat so that's pretty much done then i'll go ahead and go back and as you can see, I'm scrolling down. I have my business portal here, which holds all of my client information, allows me just to stay organized and on top of current and existing clients. Then I have my sponsorship calendar. This is where I track all of my sponsorships and make sure that I have updated scripts, talking points, uh, information that I really need. And then of course my content calendar where I'll be storing all of my video topics and planning out those videos in detail. That's how I'm able to stay up with my content schedule. Scrolling down, this is where I manage all of my tasks. Now, I love this format because it allows me to see my week at a glance. So I have right here unfinished tasks and then I have tasks for each day. Now, I love the unfinished task portion because this allows me to keep top of mind projects that may slide by the wayside during the weeks where I have a consistent routine. I've been working on my routine for a really long time, so I pretty much do the same thing every week, but I also have projects that need to be done in between that. But because my content schedule can be kind of demanding sometimes, I need to make sure that I'm keeping those projects top of mind. So I'll usually just drag in the projects that need to be done, but a lot of my weekly tasks pretty much stay the same. So today is Friday, so I've already had my quiet time, so I'm going to check that off. And then obviously right now I'm filming my plan with me. So once that's finished, I'll check it off. Now, when it comes to grocery shopping, this is something that I do every Friday. It just allows me to take Saturday to kind of rest, reset, and do some light cleaning. So when you click into the grocery shopping, it'll pop up on a side here. And I've been making the same meal preps for a very long time. So I do have a recipe book that's available inside of the Notion template. But for me, I typically just write out the meals I'm going to eat and then the ingredients that are here. Now, I love this format because I can also use it on mobile. So while I'm at the grocery store, I can just check off everything that I need. So this week I'm making chili, salmon cakes with salad, I already have a lot of breakfast things left over, so I just need turkey bacon because I have eggs and oatmeal. And then I'm making chicken salad. So my list this week isn't too heavy, which is nice um, because I did a lot of snack shopping and things like that last week. So that's the menu for this week, which is already laid out. And again, I can just pull that up on my phone and keep it going. 
Now, because the rest of my week, usually my Fridays aren't this intense, but yesterday I just kind of took a rest day because I had a lot of tasks on Monday and Tuesday. So a lot of my tasks are now falling on Friday, but typically this day is pretty light. Um, but let's go ahead and start just unchecking the things for um, that we did this week. So we're going to just reset because like I said, a lot of these tasks are the same for each week. So I'll leave Friday and Saturday the same, but we're going to work on Monday through Thursday because those are pretty much my work days. So one thing that I love about Notion is that I can actually make notes inside of the tasks that I'm using. So for here, I have the video idea and the script and I started actually brainstorming within the task. So I can actually just keep track of those things. But since that task is done and that's not something that needs to be repeatable, I'm just going to click and drag it and move it over to the completed task folder and then it's good to go. Now, like I said, we're gonna uncheck everything here. All good for next week. So I don't need to touch Tuesday. Wednesday is the same task, weekly newsletter, meeting with my coaching clients, planning out my weekly tasks. And then we already did a convert kit page for the Notion template. So we're going to click and drag and just move it over to completed tasks because that's only, that's not a reoccurring task, which is nice. I see I have some morning quiet time notes in here. So during the days where I don't have a lot of motivation or I feel like I'm kind of burnt out, sometimes I will time block out my day just so that I can make sure that I'm getting everything that I need to get done. And I don't want to use too much of my mental energy on planning out my tasks. So that's the agenda that I had for last week, but I'm not going to do that same thing again. So we'll just delete it. And now we have a fresh week. So let's go through the unfinished tasks. When I'm planning out my week, I always start with the unfinished tasks first. That way I know what needs to be worked on outside of my typical routine. So the next thing that I believe I need to do is start working on this free class. So we're going to pull this over to Mondays. Usually Mondays were my filming days, but I noticed that I didn't feel like jumping right into filming after the weekend, I wanted to kind of ease into some lighter tasks. So that next task is gonna be my YouTube roadmap that I need to create. And this is going to be an easy way to tell exactly where you are in your YouTube content creation process and how you can get to the next level. So it's great for beginners, people who are already in the midst of it, and it just shows you what you should be focusing on at each stage. So that's gonna be the free gift that's attached to the free class for YouTube and that's all a part of the Clear and Confident Academy so I can't wait to talk more about that. But once I finish those, those are going to be the main tasks and I think where I'm going to have plenty enough time to also do the email funnel. Now let's actually put this one back. We're going to do the YouTube landing page first. Okay so that's all I really have time to do this week because as you can see, I have a pretty demanding film schedule on Tuesdays. Wednesday, I have a lot of client meetings and weekly newsletters. Thursdays, we're going to move the plan with me here once this week is over so that I can continue to you know, keep my other filming schedule. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are my other filming days. And then the website revisions, that's just a one-time task, so we won't have to renew that. So once I see where I am during the week, I may pull over another task, but for right now, I think these three tasks can get done in that week without me having to feel overwhelmed. So let's go ahead and add a time about how long it's gonna take me to do this task. So developing a free class, it'll take me about an hour to brainstorm and plan out. So we'll add the time for that. The YouTube roadmap I already have laid out and that's going to take me about maybe two hours to design and create because I already have the notes here. And then I know that the YouTube landing page is gonna take me about four and a half hours to design it properly, write the copy and things like that. And anywhere you see a little page here means that I have notes already developed. Now there is a calendar view for the task, which will show you if you assign a date, which is due where, and you can actually add tasks right from here. But I typically prefer this other view just because it allows me to see my week at a glance so i'm just going to delete that and go back to the view by all 
So yeah, that's pretty much what my week is going to look like. All the rest of the tasks don't have times because again, this is my typical routine and I already know how long it's going to take me. But yeah, then I have my calendar down here and then my jazz for study playlist, which I love because I always listen to jazz music. So it just helps it to be a nice place for me to store. Now, one thing I am going to check is my business portal. I'm going to keep that kind of private, but for the quick links, I have links to my Google Calendar and my Notion Calendar. Notion Calendar actually links with Google Calendar, but I just like the way my Google Calendar looks better. So I do have both of those linked here just in case I need to get to them. I also have my Debsado linked here, which is my client management system where I track out my invoices, new client projects, and just keep a good view of all of those back end things. And then ConvertKit is the email software that I use, so I have to log into that often. I also have my budget linked here, which I use for Google Sheets because that's uh, it just has a bunch of formulas that make budgeting really easy for me. And then I have, of course, the link to the Doers community, which is my private community for people who are looking to grow closer to Christ and in consistency. And then I have a meal planner here, which I'll show you guys in the template available. So... My week planning has gotten a lot easier now that I just have set tasks for each day. And I love that Notion is just flexible to you. So I definitely wanna walk you guys through the template and what it will look like on your end and how you can customize it. But my week is already planned out. It took me less than about 20 minutes to do. And it just feels really nice to just be able to have all of these customizations and take my notes in each task at the same time. So, so that is how I plan out my week. Everything that I need is in this one space. And let me show you what the template is gonna look like on your end. So let's go through the template. Everything is completely customizable. So you can change out the background image here. You have your very own setup, your own mental garden as you scroll through. You can easily swap out the scripture. I just love having a scripture in the beginning to just keep me mindful of the Lord's presence throughout the day. Then you have your quick links section, which is a great way to just have what you need top of mind. So I have some things that you should consider linking, but you can also add your own. And then of course you can just close it up so that everything is nice and in sync. Then you have links to your office, personal and content calendar if you decide to create content. There are a couple of things in the personal category, which we'll talk about in a second, but as you can see, everything is blank and ready for you to go. So you can actually start adding in your tasks here. You can click the plus button to add new tasks. So it's just really nice and organized. Then of course you can have your house maintenance routine. So this is just a sample of what I do, but you can easily just click and change everything out so that it matches your own personal routine. And then you have your ideal weekly schedule and this is where you can go ahead and create your ideal week and you can just block it out by hour so you can see what works for you. And of course it already has a calendar which will update each month and each day just so you can have a glance of what day it is. And then of course we have a jazz playlist so you can change up the link here and I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial but you can click play and it'll play your jazz you know just to get your day started and set the vibe. So let's go over what's in the personal. So once you click in, you'll actually have a journal and this is where you can either write personal journal entries, you can do your empty out sessions here and it's all just really easy the way it's set up. You just click in and then you can use the template here that will kind of give you a guide on how to journal or you can just click the new button, type in maybe empty out session, click enter and then you'll just click in and then you can just start from scratch. So whatever you need, this is a great place to kind of store all of your brain dumps. You'll also see that you have a recipe book. So the same way that mine was set up, you also have one where it already comes preloaded with a bunch of different recipes. And then every time you wanna add a new recipe, maybe something that you find on Pinterest, you can find it here. And this just makes making your grocery list really easy because you're already gonna have a bunch of recipes stored. Then you have your 2024 yearly goal tracker. And this is wonderful because you can just keep track of all of your goals by quarter. I told you guys that it's going to have a breakdown um, month by month so that you can just keep track of how your year is going. It's also going to have a habit tracker inside. And then you're going to scroll down to another way to just see your overarching goal. So there's a couple of different ways that you can track it. It's just really nice to just have all this information just easily stored. 
And lastly, you can access your content calendar in two different places. So you can click here to go directly to your content calendar. And you see I have it very easily set up where you can store all of your ideas here. You can write your scripts for your videos, thumbnail pictures, whatever. It's all linked here and just really easy and simple to use. And then the final thing is the office. This is a space where I was talking about where if you work a nine to five, you can store all of your work projects here. And if you're an entrepreneur like me, you can store all of your client information and things like that in this space. So you again, you can access your quarterly goals here. And then for me, I manage all of my client information here. So whenever I have a new client, I'll add them here. I'll add their status here, their start date and end date because I do coaching, um, and then invoice. So you can customize the columns and the categories for how you like, but this is a great just kind of base level to set it up. So that pretty much wraps up the walkthrough of the mental garden template. Again, if it's your very first time using Notion or you just wanna be a more advanced user, the template is definitely going to come with a tutorial that talks you through step-by-step -step on how to customize it. So you can click the link in my description box to get yours.